Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men. And the topic for this specific video is no, you are not a jealous man. Sometimes you might be communicating with your friends and be like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a jealous guy. You know, that's not who you are. The jealousy patterns are learned behaviors. They are programs. They are like patterns that you keep on training and repeating. And so eventually, after a while, you start identifying yourself with them. But this is not you. When you were born as a baby, you were not born jealous. <laughs> Maybe you were not jealous. You were just like clear, empty, you know, ready to engage into life. And then eventually, with, um, through uh, cultural conditioning and through the examples that you see from, from other family members, from siblings, from society, from your friends, eventually you start seeing the jealousy patterns starting to emerge in your system. But those patterns, they are a conditioning, okay? They are like a program. So if you have a laptop, <laughs> you know, you have a piece of equipment, you take a software out and then you put another software. So this is the way you can look at your mind. You can totally, okay, totally reprogram your mind. If you go like, I'm the jealous type, I say, bullshit, that's nonsense. You're not the jealous type. You're just somebody who accepted certain patterns are the, as the, you know, default pattern. But this is not who you are. A few months from now, you could be like, no, I'm not, I don't have jealousy outbreaks. I'm not prone to jealousy anymore. Why? Because you developed new behaviors and new patterns that you feel are more powerful, more empowering for you and your couple, bringing you closer to your girlfriend or lover or partner or wife. And you decide to adopt a new vehicle. It's a little bit like a shirt that you put on in the morning. You know, are you going to wear white, red, black? It's exactly the same thing. So realize that the patterns that you conditioned in yourself that's not you. You're not a jealous man. You're a trusting man. You can decide to be a trusting man in exactly the same way. You go like, from now on, I'm going to start increasing my level of trust for, for my girlfriend. How do you practice that? You go like, I trust you. I love you. I trust you. I give you space, freedom. I give you safety. It means that you start anchoring the core values. You know, for instance, trust, right? Instead of jealousy, you go trust. How do you anchor that? You repeat that mantra to yourself. Those words of power. I trust my wife. I trust her. How do you think that makes her feel when you say something like that? I trust you. If somebody comes to you and says, you know what, brother? I trust you. It's like, do you realize how empowering this is? When you are having a jealousy outbreak with a woman, what you're saying to her is, I don't trust you. So if somebody comes to you, comes into your field and goes like, you know what, buddy, I don't trust you. What do you think are the patterns that they're attracting inside of you? You're like, well, you can trust me. It's like you, you start feeling loss of confidence for yourself. So it's, a, it's an empowering statement when you go to your girlfriend or your wife and you say, I know you're here with me. I know that you're not planning to run away with somebody else because I know the value of what we have here together. It is powerful. I'm, a, I'm at my peak and I'm the best possible person that you could possibly have in your life. Can you feel what this does? You are, you are bringing qualities of of trust and respect and love and caring and power in your relationship. So the words that I, that I just said, you see that this comes from a place of power. It comes from a place of grounding. I'm going to give you soon in other videos ways of anchoring that, anchoring that presence and that power. But for now, realize that. It is that this pattern, you know, the difference between the guy who will go like, yeah, man, the other day, you know, you are, you, you are always having conversations with your, with your ex. You always, every time I see you, it's like you try to flirt with other guys as if you wanted to, to have their attention. You know, this is you communicating with your wife right now as a jealous, whining man, right? 
Are you proud of yourself when you are there? No, of course not. You feel like shit. You go like, I don't want to be that guy. So here's the thing is that you don't have to be that guy. You really don't have to be that guy. You can shift position and go like, what is the guy? What is the expression that you want to be? The expression that you want to be is a position of the, the, the expression of a guy who is massively confident, massively empowered in himself, and creating a safe container for the couple in the relationship and empowering his girlfriend or wife. I trust you. Am I jealous? Every now and then I have a little jealousy outbreak. It's like a 5%, 20% peak. I don't reach 100%. I don't care. I don't have time to be, a, to be a, a jealous guy. I want to be in a position where I'm mature. I'm energetically, emotionally evolved. I'm powerful. I'm freaking powerful. I'm a manifester. I'm a creator. And I know how to create a space that is safe and powerful for my girlfriend. You see, I own it. So the difference between the guy who is winning and whining, <laughs> sorry, the guy who is whining, who is complaining, who is victimizing, and the guy who is in his power, you know, which one are you? You can be both. What makes the difference is that maybe there is a pattern that you have been practicing a little bit more than the other. But what is going to bring you from being disempowered to empowered in your relationship, in your couple? It's practice. It's understanding the behaviors. Do you get that? I trust you. I know that this is something that it's within your range. We are not talking about rocket science. We're not talking about you suddenly building a machine that is extremely complex. No, it's like we are talking about a shift in the energetic positioning in your couple. And it's something that can happen right now. I know that you are watching this video right now and that what I'm saying to you right now, you get it. You understand. You go like, how does it feel when you're in your power? It feels freaking good. It feels awesome. Is this the person you want to be? Of course. You want to be a mature, responsible, caring, loving, powerful male, right? I'll see you soon for another video.